Hey guys, and welcome to Reviews Day, where I review something that's near and dear to my heart, and also near and dear to the hearts of everyone out there watching. Today I'm going to review YouTube. I'm going to go in depth and talk about how it changed from a viral video sensation to something more than that person watching me. To just a giant overall community. Now, YouTube became this fun and magical place where you can upload videos of any kind that you desire. Where you have the freedom to dress in drag or do some strange talent. <laughs> and that's how I became a YouTube partner. <laughs> now, the design of YouTube is very simple and very sleek, very clean, and it's very easy for someone to navigate around, search for new material, look at stuff. And it's also became a giant social media network, which is the first problem. It's now so focused on social media and what social media is connected to it in order to actually find good content. This also comes with a needed connection to Google+. Plus. If you don't have a Google Plus account, you can't really do anything. In fact, you can't even have a YouTube channel. So hard to figure out because I don't know what I'm doing. There's circles and you have to connect the circles and the dots and I just can't... I just, what? It's also really hard to find videos based on content alone. It all depends on what your friends are watching and what YouTube recommends for you based on things you watch. There's hundreds and thousands of different YouTube channels but I keep getting recommended the same exact people who I'm already subscribed to. So of course I already put off my homework and spent hours watching all their videos. <sighs> Back in my day, there used to be categories on what's popular and what's going on in recommended videos based on other things, not just what your friends are watching. Or who you're subscribed to. And this was the best method to actually discover people you haven't seen before. It could be the star of something new. Which brings me to my next topic, partnerships. Who? Partnerships were based on hard work and dedication and how many views you got and how many people actually liked you and how many subscribers. And when you actually got a partnership, you felt important, you felt special, you felt unique, you felt like you were one with community and you actually felt just like you belonged somewhere. And shortly after I got my partnership, everyone was allowed to have one which meant no one was special. This actually caused a huge split with vlogging and video content in general. If you were an established YouTuber with hundreds of people loving you and liking you, you were up here. You were going nowhere else but up. But if you were just getting established, you were gonna stay there forever. Unless you do something drastic. Not that point where things became more like a business. Because then you have to worry about things like your demographic, your social media use, how many people are following you, how to communicate with your community, production and promotional deals, and demographic actually becomes a whole founding part of YouTube. In all seriousness, just look at it. The most famous vloggers on YouTube, the most well-known, the most loved and adored and cherished, are people who mostly appeal to Caucasian descent, or have a funny accent, or boobs. If you have boobs, you can go places. Girl, I got you. I showed them puppies. Mm, mm. Well, if you're a vlogger of color, you mostly have to rely on your color to actually get anywhere. You pretty much have to market your race in order to actually go anywhere. But it actually is hard for a person of color to actually get any attention on YouTube. But girl, let me tell you something. Unless you're a sassy gay guy addressing your race, addressing a stereotype, working on something. Oh, someone else who's famous, or you're just close up. Getting noticed becomes a little bit harder. Makeup gurus and gamers, you guys can live on forever. We need you in life. We just need you in life. Seriously, you guys can go anywhere. You go. So I guess my biggest problem with YouTube is that it lacks diversity. Now one of the methods to actually gain a larger audience is to form collaboratives. All your favorite YouTubers and put in one video. That way fans can intermingle between blogs. Oh look at that, look at the intermingling. Ah, ah. Which is a really great method if you actually live near them. If you're an up and coming vlogger, what are the chances you're actually going to form a collaborative with someone else? Or someone's actually going to live around you to actually collab with? And that's a big thing that vloggers actually depend on now. So we get the truth and dare on my channel, but we call it Becky's channel. Oh my god, we get naked. <laughs> but click, put it right there. Click right there. And there you go. Boom. More subscribers for both of you. Boom. Boom. It's like famous going everywhere. Of course, you can always be that annoying guy going to everyone's comments being like, Um, I was wondering if you can actually give me a shout out because, like, I really... I'm new and I just want to make blood and I want to make videos. But really, I have a hard time keeping track of my own viewers and comments and I only have like this many. Which honestly I kind of like because like we're like a family and like I can talk to you guys and you guys talk to me directly and then we have connection. We have a connection here. You know what? Don't subscribe. Don't share. Don't like. I like this. Like this small little intermingled family. Just all of you watch one of my videos at least a thousand times each and you know it will be fine. Because that's my income. 
<laughs> well, I guess to sum things up, YouTube is this fun and magical place when you want it to be. When you actually go in to make content, to make videos, to entertain other people. It's the expression of freedom, ideas, independence, and just being your own person. It's letting the world see who you really are. It's not just this whole corporate idea of getting likes and views and subscribers. And I feel that YouTube itself is forgetting that. It's becoming more of a corporate entity. It became more about keeping the popular popular and the new people, you know, to figure things out for themselves. And no, I'm not talking about me. Because I don't do this for subscribers or views. Really, I'm a gay, non-stereotypical, Native American, Puerto Rican humanist. I don't got a demographic. I got this box. Oh, I got this box. It's a really nice box, too. Ooh. I do this because I like to entertain. I like to get to know you guys personally, and I like you guys actually talking to me. I do all of this for you guys and myself. I've seen up-and-coming bloggers, I've seen actual channels, I've seen other people who actually are funny, or going somewhere, or actually want to develop and become something more. And I just feel like YouTube needs to become more well-rounded. All in all, I give YouTube three and a half stars out of five. Remember when that was the thing? Stars, we got stars. We felt important, guys. We had stars. Hey guys, leave a comment down below on what do you guys think of YouTube? Do you think it's fun and exhilarating? Or is there changes that you wish you would make? And don't worry my friends, I will always be here for you. Whether you want me to Or, hey guys, this is my coming out video. I'm gay. Or even 10 reasons why I fucking hate the fuck out of fucking college. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Stay awesome. Bye!